Hello everyone again. Uh, we're going to do another quick video today. We're just going to add on top of the load layout macro I did my last video on. And this time we're adding to it, we're going to finesse the visual side of this within the layout. So if you see, if I turn this on now, we now have the background of the layout change. So we know visually quite uh, spectacularly, we're now in load mode. And also on top of that, we also have a go button, which also changes the layout background. So now I'm going to show you the syntax and why, why this happens. So you'll see this is very similar. The only thing that's different is we've added this line here in the macro and this line down here. Okay, so syntax we've got. We have set layout one. And we know this is layout one because we're using layout one. And the property we're changing this time is the canvas appearance. And we're changing it to load. So why is it canvas appearance and why is it load? So we'll do canvas appearance first. We come back out of here. The reason why it's canvas appearance is we need to go into the edit window of a layout. So we're going to type in edit layout one. Open it up and we'll get this nice pop up here. So by default, this will be empty like this. And as we see, nothing here. So if we wanted, if we wanted to make the background red, because we've got a red appearance in our pool, we can make it red. Really cool, right? Really cool. I'm going to leave this in red for now. So this is the canvas appearance. So this matters, the canvas. So if we go to, if we zoom out to fit type canvas, and we zoom to fit, we can see the canvas here. It's this size. So this is basically, uh, how to explain this? A picture. This is basically a picture in a layout. It's probably the easiest way to explain this. And we can change the size of this canvas as well. So if we go back into the edit window, so we can move the, move this. So if we want to move this across by a thousand, you can see now it was behind these, it's now moved over. And on top of that, let's move it back. We can also make this bigger and smaller by dimensions. So by default, this will be 1920 by 1080. You see how, how big this is compared to the, the area we're working in. So that's why I've gone in and I've changed this. I've made this half the size. So if you check this out, you can do maths within this. You don't have to think. Just do it. 1920, 20 by 2, 1080, 20 by 2. It's going to be 540. So this is not too big, but it covers the whole area. And when we zoom in on the elements, which means the objects we've placed in this layout, you can see it covers more than enough and there's no gray. Okay. So that's why that's that canvas appearance. And the reason why it's load is we're, so we're setting an appearance. So we need to go to the appearance pool I've put down here and it's cooling red right now. So this is why this is fully red. We can change these live as well, which is a really cool feature. So we can see, I can change this layout background color for the use of this. So we're using, oh, right click. So we're calling load. So we have this here. So this is actually an image I've imported, which is down here. So I've made this in uh, Photoshop. I've made a nice little tile, pattern, some text with a, transparent background and from there we then import this from the images into appearances I'll show you how it's very easy so we're going to right click on the empty appearance pool we can go to image and here we can see all the images we have in the image pool so we've got load here so within here we can change the foreground color which would be the font color really in this this image so we can change this to be whatever we want 
and we can turn the transparency up and down as well, or transparency or opacity, whatever takes fancy. And as well as this, we can change the background. So let's turn the alpha up so we can see it. We can change this to whatever color we like. Okay. And we can see from this one, I have done an orange background, not too bright, and the font as well, the text. So it's not glaring, and I've labeled it load. So that's why, let's delete this. That's why this is load. We're calling the appearance load here. And then we've also, after that, we're calling a blank appearance, which is this here, which has got fully transparent. So alpha zero on the foreground and the background. So that's why it looks the same every time. So that's that in load layout. And then in the go button, we have the same, but we're calling go instead of load, which is this one here. Same again, text from Photoshop. And I've just made it green, green background. And then we're waiting one second on this macro line, this empty macro line. And after one second, we then carry on. And then we go back to blank. So you can see, I press it once, one second it's on and it's off. So we can also add to this actually, while I'm here, we can, to make this even more visual, we can change the macro appearance. I just like to keep it neat and label as much as I can. So we're going to assign appearance uh, green at macro go loaded. What's cool is in, in free, we can now use single quotes and double quotes. Double quotes? <laughs> double quotes. I'll, I'll do a video on that later. Uh, just showing off how we can now use single and double, which has got its use in it. It's really useful for variables, but yes. Anyway, back to this. So we're assigning the green to the, the macro, and then we're assigning blank to the macro. Okay. So I now need to make a green because I don't have one. So I'm just going to right click on an empty green, just like that. Boom. And we need to label it as well. You can swipe down and then back up. Green. So now when we click this, macro goes green and the background changes. Just a bit more visual so we know we've definitely fired stuff.